الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد All praises due to Allah and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to exalt the mansion and grant peace to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his companions and all those who follow them on their righteous path until the day of judgment. It's your greatest day or it's the greatest day of your career, your working career. A multi-millionaire customer is expected to visit your business to purchase a particular product. Your boss has promised you 50% commission. If this man were to buy this product, which you will try to, you know, present to him uh, through a PowerPoint presentation, if you are able to convince him, your whole financial life will change overnight. Everything you've been striving for, years of work, going to school, you know, spending time learning, earning the degree, and so on and so forth. So one will be rich. And this is the moment of truth, right? So that morning, at home, you do the final touches on your presentation, right? You're excited, it's a big day, you have a very good chance to convince this customer that what you have is in fact the best product in the market. You do the final editing, save it on your flash drive, and off to work. You get to work, your heart is beating fast, just, this is the day. You jam yourself into your office somehow, barely able to open a door, you know, you just, you're not all there. You turn on your PC, and you pop in or you plug in your flash drive in your PC. Uh, you get an, a message, you know the virus detectors, you know it says, you know, there's a little flag that comes on the right side it's, that says that there's a virus, you know, was detected, a file was infected. Either skip or delete. So you're hasty, you know, just delete, you know, let's get down to business. So you delete that thing, whatever that thing was, and then you go to my computer, you double click on your flash drive, it opens up and you're scanning through the screen and you don't see your presentation. Where's my presentation? You were sure that you had saved it this morning. You realize that that file which your you know, antivirus software had detected was your very file which you were supposed to present and you deleted it yourself. And now you have no access to it. You panic, start freaking out. You're about to have a heart attack. Your life is on the line, your career is on the line. So what do I do? You remember, hey, I emailed this presentation to myself before the final editing last week as a backup. So now I have a solution. It's not the same. I still have to do the editing again, but I have some time. The customer is expected to be arriving soon. So you go, you know, to your, to your email, you log in, you start downloading this eight megabyte presentation. And you're, you know, you can imagine, you know, yourself just watching the thing, you know, uh, the bar increasing, you're anxious, you, you, you know, time is running out, and everything is on the line. And right there at 7.90 something megabytes, right at the last moment it says, unable to download this file. Errors in connection. <gasps> Errors in connection. And at that moment, khalas, your career is over, the customer will no longer be interested in you, and everything you had been planning for is, as they say, down the drain. What happens, or what do we learn? That sometimes a stable connection is one of the most important things in this material world of ours. And errors in connection can be extremely devastating. But my brothers and sisters in Islam, what is more devastating than that, what is more devastating than that is when we have errors in connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the worst of all. This is a, an opportunity. 
another one may come around. It's business related, this is business. You win and you lose, you gain and you, you know, you make profit or you don't. But in the matters of spirituality, um, our life to come, when we have errors in connection, then this is the most devastating of all. Now you may be thinking, what errors in connection? What am I referring to when I say they are errors in connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allow me to narrate to you an incident which was reported to us by Al-Imam Al-Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala wherein he said that Al-Imam Al-Zuhri rahimahullah ta'ala قال دخلت على أنس بن مالك بدمشق وهو يبكي قلت ما يبكيك قال لا أعلم شيئا مما عهدت على عهد مما عرفت على عهد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إلا هذه الصلاة وهذه الصلاة قد ضيعت Imam Zuhri walked upon Anas ibn Malik may Allah be pleased with him in Damascus while he was crying he was crying he told him why are you crying what makes you cry he said Anas radiallahu anhu there isn't anything which I used to observe and witness at the time of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam that remains until today except the Salah but now the Salah has been neglected now pay attention this is a sahabi saying this to a tabi'i from among the things which used to occur at the time of the messenger of allah وسلم, that actually carried on in the same fashion was the salah the other things no one was able to do them as good as the sahaba the salah was still around to some extent but anas ibn malik was saying to al-imam al-zuhri rahimahullah but today the salah has been wasted. So if they were saying this around 1400 or 1300 years ago, then what do we say about our condition today? What is our condition with the Salah today? In fact, the matter is much, much, much worse. It's one of the worst <coughs> calamities that have befallen the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Messenger of Allah. However, this is not a shock. This is not a shock. Why is it a connection? Because the word salah comes among the words which is derived from, it's a derivative of another root word, one of which is sila. Salah comes from sila. And sila means connection. Because the idea of the prayer or the salah is that it connects you with Allah. It's a connection between the slave and the master, the creation and the creator. The Lord and the servant. So the salah is a connection with Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a way which he legislated. <coughs> we have errors in the salah. And Allah had told us in the Quran. That this has happened to the previous na nations before. And we were told by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That we as Muslims will follow the ways of those who preceded us. Allah said in the Quran. فَخَلَفَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ أَضَاعُوا الصَّلَاةِ وَاتَّبَعُوا الشَّهَوَاتِ فَسَوْفَ يَلْقَوْنَ غَيَّا So there came after them 